Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do an after-action report of Congo by Tomahawk Games. So let's get started. So here's the table for today's Congo game. We are playing game number eight, Hostage Exchange Around the Mabali. So the table consists of a sacred place. A gigantic stone has stood in the jungle since the dawn of time. That's right there. It is surrounded by a sacred zone that is marked by these skulls on sticks. There's limited action that can take place within that area. You will notice the protagonist in this game the Mabongo, who are played by the forest tribes, we both get to start with a group of emissaries in the sacred ground. So that is the Babongo emissaries, and on the other side are the Balumbo emissaries. Those are represented by the African Kingdoms list. Uh, we've already deployed our forces. As I mentioned, there's two negotiator groups with hostages. This is a hostage exchange. The other groups cannot come within the sacred circle unless the sacredness of it is violated by certain rules described within the scenario. But all the other groups have been placed alternatively. They have to be outside that circle and at least a medium range marker away from any enemy. The special rules for the adventure are jungle. It takes place in the jungle. We're using confusion, which means we have to randomly draw our activation cards. Independent character, those are the two hostages. Uh, there's special events, those are chances for the hostage to run away. Wild animals, so there's the possibility of a ape in this scenario. And uh, exiting the table, uh, that's because the goal of the game is to escape off the edge of the table. The Babongo have to exit off of table edge A, which is that end of the table, and the other, the uh, Balumbo, off of this tape. So it's basically the edge of the table that they're negotiators are pointed towards right now, the reverse of their starting positions. The exchange of hostages goes horribly wrong. The Babongo and the Balumba, after many provocations, try to outwit their rivals and keep their hostage while getting back the one they handed to their enemies. The groups designated as negotiators cannot resolve any action during the first turn. The hostages are considered independent characters. The event tokens that are in here will give them a possibility of trying to escape from who holds them now. Nobody in the Holy Ground can be affected by a ritual, shooting, or influence action. Uh, that's as long as it remains Holy Ground. If a negotiation group leaves the Sacred Ground, whether voluntarily or not, or if a negotiating group shoots or engages in melee, or if a negotiator group loses its hostage, then the Holy Ground rule will go away and that rule will no longer play effect. Uh, our goals are, of course, to get the hostage we hold and preferably the hostage that the opponent holds off the table, off of on our table edges. We get victory points for destroying each other's negotiating group. And we get points for still holding hostages when the special event tokens show up. The turns consist of three phases. There's a starting phase, uh, the actual action phase where most of the gameplay takes place, and then there is the end phase, which is mostly when you're cleaning up uh, certain tokens that automatically come off or you check for Certain scenarios have certain game things that happen at that point of the game. Uh, this game is driven, though, by cards. And so we, uh, I get a totem card. Totem cards are special cards that are going to give you various bonuses and pluses during the game. I get to pull one of those. My opponent gets to pull two and choose, because of a special ability that her chieftain has, she gets to pull two. She decides which one she keeps and discards the other. We each have to, because of the confusion rule, draw our three activation cards instead of getting to pull them like you would normally do. There is a, a rule here. You can choose. If you pull the three and you just live with the three you've got, you get to pull an extra totem card. But you have the option of, once you look at them, of discarding one of your cards and pulling another one randomly. I'm not going to be able to explain what these cards mean, so... Hopefully, I, I can't remember if I ever covered this uh, in an earlier game. I have done a couple Congo videos, but they were early in my channel's history, and I was just learning 
how to actually do these things. So I don't even remember what I, how well described the game may or may not have been. But these cards are what drive your activities and allow you to do what, what you can do. So if I keep these, I can choose one more totem card. Yes, you can. And I'm not going to do that. So now for the first turn of the game, we have to decide to play one of these cards. This is what I'm playing. So my card's a six. Here's a four. So because my card has an, is an initiative six, so I have initiative because my initiative number is higher at mm -hmm. six to four, so I can take these actions. And what these actions are, for those of you who may not be familiar with the game, the little drum is an influence. That means I could either try to rally stress. We have no stress in the game right now. Because it's black, though, I can cause stress. I attempt to cause stress to the opponent. Because of the rules of this game, I cannot do that to this unit here in the, the sacred zone. And the one on the bottom means I can let one unit move. Now, an important distinction here, this is going to allow two different actions, but in each of these three action phases of a turn, you can only take one action. So I can't have one unit do both these things. It would have to be two separate groups. They can still do it on each other action phase. You could have a group move three times in a turn if you have enough app, but it can't not in an action phase on one action. My Ascari uh, do not have line of sight on her Bunduki. These are the Ascari, those are the Bunduki. So I think I may move. Now, the way movement works in the game is that you move a short, uh, sh uh, movement stick is, there's sticks for all the different ranges, everything's done. A normal move is one, one short move. As long as when you end that, there isn't enemy units within a short, you can actually do what's called, oh, I can't do that. I no, can't, you I can't go, go in there. The I have to go, I have to I go this way. <laughs> Just look at that. They are outside. If they were within this range, couldn't do the second move or uh, double up my pace because they're too close, unless I was charging them. However, they're too far for me to charge anyway. That's an important distinction in this game too. In any other game, that would be a successful charge because when I move my figure, his full movement, he'd be in base-to-base -base contact. But in this case, this marker actually has to be on the opponent for him to be in charge range. And that whole thing I just said, if there was a unit right here that stopped my movement normally, if my double movement would actually leave me in a melee at the end, I can then do the double. But I couldn't do the double if it left me exposed. Uh, I'm not doing a double anyway, though. Uh, and we're both armed with muskets. Mm -hmm. Does it matter which way my people are facing? Not at all. Okay. You also don't have to move your whole stick movement. You do have to move in those weird straight lines. You can't curve the stick around. I'm going to go ahead and do an attack, I think. It won't be very effective because you don't have any... What am I going to do it on? I can't an do it on... An influence attack. I'm going to do it on your Banduki. What that means is you take a terror hit. But you can only take one. If you had terror stress tokens, I could use those against you and get extra die. You're only going to get one die. So what you need to do is look at the bravery of the Bandukis, which is the bottom of their stats. And it'll list a die type. Okay. It's a D6. It's only one attack, so all you need to do is grab one D6. You don't have a character with them. No. So there's no bonus for that. No. I don't know if you have a card you want to use, a totem card. You may have a totem card that can affect it, like an extra die roll or something. Uh, I do, but I don't know I want to use it for okay. this, to be honest. That's your choice. <laughs> Three. You fail. Okay. Oh, Four. I should probably mention that. <laughs> uh, two of the, the overruling rules of this game is a success roll is always a five. And when things allow you to re-roll dice, you can never re-roll the same dice twice in, the, in that roll. She has a shooting stress. That means they're mm. a little nervous. They shoot. Mm. They will lose one die of shoot. Okay. And that's my action done. So get your four shoots. They're going to shoot. Those are muskets? Yes. So the range is what, long, I think, for muskets? Uh, yes. So this marker means they're going to have to reload. Their guns are empty. So There's five figures there, so you get four whatever their right. shoot type D6. die is. You're looking for fives. Okay. Nothing. I don't have to roll with my cover roll. I do, however, have to take a stress token. Muskets, the, the black powder muskets are noisy and smoky and fiery and they're scary so when you're fire shot at with one of those you have to take a stress token so i still get a stress token and it is a movement stress what that means i can only do the normal short move now i cannot double my paces 
Uh, but I have three fires. Yes, you so do. next is going to be the Young Warriors. Now I'm not sure actually though they're going to make it. No, there's pre measuring is allowed in this game. Okay. Um, well. Those are your cannibals. Those are cannibals? Those are your cannibals. Uh oh. And they don't shoot. I had thought the pygmies were going to shoot them, but they moved for yes. the distance. Oh, they're, no, the, their distance is uh, medium. Okay. Because their bows are, are little. All right, so there's no way they can shoot them. All right, so that's that action phase done. All right. Yes. So I've got seven. Two. Yeah. So I got to go first. The first thing I have is a influence, and it's red. Anytime that's red, you can only use it on yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I cannot use that as a, as a terror attack, but I can use it as a rally. And I only have one person who needs, to, or one mm -hmm. group that can even use a rally. So I'm going to try to rally the movement stress off of my, oh no, these are Ruga Ruga. I was calling them Ascari, and that's what I was trying to remember, but right. they're not Ascari. They're Ruga Ruga. Okay. Uh, Ruga Rugas have a bravery value of D8, except when rolling for terror, in which it's a D6. So they're vulnerable if being attacked. Mm -hmm. If this was the other way around, like if I did what I just did to you, right, right. Uh, I'd be on a lower die. Right. Uh, but these are D8s. I only get to roll one because I have no characters there and I only have one. You get to roll one for each of the stress tokens you have that you're trying to get rid of. So you could actually get rid of all of them. I should probably mention, as long as I'm thinking about it right now, you can never have more than four stress tokens on a unit. If you have four stress tokens and you have something happen that should have caused you a stress token, you actually retreat. Uh, that's not a success, so I do not get to take the stress token off. And the other thing I have is a shoot, and I don't think I have much shooting or any shoot. Well, I can't shoot them because they just took an action. Um, and they were the only people who probably could shoot. And they move a short? Is that what it is? They move at least a short. Okay. If there's nobody within short, well, there may be actually. No. You can double your pace and move two shorts if you want. And I'd be super close. I kind of feel like pygmies do better with shooting. They do. You don't want to. No. Then and you're outnumbered. Yeah, exactly. Those are shooters too, though. We might not be that, that great at melee either. But honestly, I really like the poison. In fact, Ruga Ruga mm -hmm. are basically young teenage punks. Uh, they're like sort of mercenary slash criminals. And I don't think there is anyone who could shoot. You can reload, though. Yes, this was the reload. So now we go to the third action, and this mm -hmm. is when they get, they'd shoot. Either of those groups could shoot right now. <laughs> That's the card I'm playing. Ah, uh, and I don't have a shoot. No, but you um, get to go first. Yes. Because you have a six. So I'm going to scare them. Okay, so they're going to use an influence to frighten you. You want to go Ruga. Right, so I have to... Now, that's only one attack. If that was a mask instead of a foot, um, it would be two. I'd have to roll for two. Mm -hmm. However... This is exactly what you want to do to those guys because this is their lower bravery because this is a terror attack. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a D6 instead of a mm -hmm. D8. And they didn't make it. So I get to pull another stress token. And that's the mask I'm talking about. So if this was already down there, I would have had to roll for two terror attacks instead of one. Okay. I'm going to move the young warriors there. They can move this move, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. they just can't go into the ring. Right. But right. you're not going into the ring. I'm not going so into the ring. So now my camera's pointing at the wrong group. I'm going to start by, act by shooting with the married warriors and them. My married warriors are a d6 for shoot. How many do I have? Five? Mm -hmm. No, you have six. Not of warriors. That's a, that's a uh, uh, medicine man. Ah. Uh, well, that's a lousy roll. I only got one hit. Okay. Now, this is the first time this has happened. Your guys right now are in the open. So you automatically uh, have a D6 save. However, you can choose to go to ground. What going to ground means, you can roll additional D8s for each stress token you decide to take for it. So you can give yourself stress to give yourself more dice. Seems to me that would probably be a better decision to make if there were a lot of hits than if there's only one. I agree. Your so, chances are probably pretty good. All right. Well, they're a third, basically. Uh, the only thing that you do have to keep in mind is if you do fail this roll, mm -hmm. you're gonna then going to have to roll a d10. And if you roll a one, mm -hmm. it's going to be your chieftain who's been hit. 
But you're probably going to... No. You have a good chance of making the roll anyway. Only 33%. Okay. Nope. All right, so you lose a guy. Okay. You get to pick him who he is. Oh, no, you have to roll a d10 first. And if it's a one, it's actually right. your, your chieftain. That's this one, right? Yeah. It is not, so go ahead and take one of the other guys. It'll be the front guy. I'm now going to shoot with my archers at the same uh, young group that you have there. Uh, my archers shoot at a d6. I didn't check range, but I'm pretty sure. Their archers are long, aren't they? Oh, you'd be fine. Yeah, they're long. I'm fine. Absolutely. That's a little better. Uh, no, not much. <laughs> Twice as good, but still a lousy roll. So that's two rolls you have to make. Okay. And the same thing. You could add to that if you want. So I can add, can I use this plus 2d6? Yeah. Okay. So you discard that, and that's going to give you 4d6. Okay. okay, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Got him. Got all of them. Got him. And do I shoot my last group? I'm going to go ahead and activate Aruga I'm going to go ahead and shoot the pygmies, I think. Not sure that is the right choice there. It probably is, because the pygmies, besides having the ability to poison, also can fire every, every single fire action you give, because those don't have to be reloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot at them. My Ruga Ruga are D8s. That's three hits. Uh. So again, D6s. You, <sighs> you roll three this time. You could go to ground. I'm going to take one stress All right, so and add one die. So go ahead and pull your stress. Okay. And I'm going to, that gives me four die, right? Yeah. Two. I got two. Like, so exactly. you lose one. You lose oh, one. I'm sorry, little guy. If we had any of the red hands, they would come off, but we don't. We go to turn two. We get to pull new totem cards. Wait and you get to do that thing you get to do. Okay, so now we take three of these. Our action cards. Right. This confusion rule is annoying. I'm going to keep them and take another, another yeah. totem. I thought I was going to be taking extra totem cards left and right, and so far I've, I've been unwilling to keep my cards. I okay. Keep, in fact, I still don't like my hand at all for this. For this no, turn. neither. It's not what I would have picked, but oh well. I want to do this one first. You go first. Right. I'm going to pull so my either, stress either, off. What you want to do is you want to look up that guy's that unit's bravery. Mm -hmm. D8. So you have a D8. As I would expect. You only get the you. one because you don't have a leader there with you. Right. Otherwise, you get his, his die right. too. Okay. And there's only one on you, so that's why there's only one die. Nope. Nope. Damn. This guy is going to shoot. All right. And they are mediums, but that's still within But medium. they're well within medium. So roll their dice for their... Okay, so there, and the chief is there too. I don't know what that means. So there's uh, you four roll, regulars. You, you do four of their dice, and if he has a shoot skill, you use his too. I don't know. I think he does. I think yours does. He does. Another D6. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Whoa! So three hits. Four. Four hits. I want to go ahead and take two extra dice. Oh, it's not that big an issue. I've got a shoot in the terror. And I'm gonna, but this is not, I'm not shooting, I'm dodging. You're defending. I'm yeah. trying not to get hit. Uh, and I stopped two, but you hit me for four, I right? I did. So I have to roll a d10. My uh, medicine man, he's okay. So I take two hits. And my, I was not saved by my take going to ground. Uh, a plus one action? Mm -hmm. it, is that something if I put it down, I could, you someone else could shoot? You play that card shoot? to take another action. Okay. Yes. These guys are going to shoot at them. Okay. Okay. So now they're unloaded. So that means one less guy shoots, right? Right. right. One fewer. Okay. So it's four. And no. Nice. Nope. Nope. I'm okay Alright, now it's my go. I'm going to try to rally my um, my Ruga Ruga. Mm -hmm. 
They rally on D8s. They've got two things on them. Oh, so I get rid of one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play my totem card, which removes one stress. And get rid of both of them. Okay. So that's my rally move, and then I can do a move move. And I'm going to charge. That may be dangerous. May not be the right action. At my young guys? Yep. Okay. But I'm down in numbers, and you have, you also have a Chief. chieftain in there. And I don't think my medicine man fights. Mm. No, it kind of makes sense, actually. Not. So I have three D10s. And you have, you get a dice for each of your fighters for their combat. So and you get a dice for the leader's combat. Uh, D8s. So I get, what is that, five D8s and one D10 for the cheat. No. Probably. No, only a D6. That's really? weird. For his fight? Yeah. Uh, I get two hits. And that's what this is about, is trying to get more hits than the other guy. Okay. Oh. I get one, two, three, four. four. So you beat me by two. Okay. So I, uh, I lose two figures and I retreat and we both take a stress. Okay. So retreat means I have to move directly away from you one short. Okay. Um, I have a detail. Do you have to roll to if see? If I roll yeah. a one, he's dead. He is. Wow. So, so one of my kill deaths was my yes. magic user. Yes. And my body's been beat up. That's that hurt. Yes. And I have to take. We both have to take stress. Uh, stress tokens. It's a gorilla. All right. Or something. So, pick another one because okay. you still have to take a stress card. Okay. I got to take another one because I got a two. Which means. Which means we have to do the. Someone runs. Yeah. All right. It also means we have victory points. I get another terror, which sucks. So you get to deploy him. Okay. And there he is. Yes. I mean yours. I got the oh. hostage activation thing. Yep. You and I both have a hostage right now when the first one came up. So exactly. we both just got points. But we have to roll for them or they might run. I will roll for the one I hold. Yeah, and I'll hold for mine. And basically it's just a D8 and if it's a success, they run. Uh, okay, mine runs. Okay. Mine runs too. Things aren't going the way they're supposed to. <laughs> if she flees from the group she's joined, always as a result of adventure specific roles, as this happens, opposing player handles the movement as if it was movement by the group, i.e. opposing player acting. So she's going to move like a normal group. So we just basically each, each move each other's hostage, which makes sense because yes, it's our characters. They're your characters, yes. They're part of your so, group, essentially. <laughs> so mine... This is what I meant about the annoyance of curves. Of course, I don't, those aren't really terrain. Those are just looks. Yeah, I think they, she can climb on top of so. them. I really do. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm doing two, I'm not ending there. Oh. Well, why don't I just do that? So we basically are exchanging hostages. So I get with my group, and you're probably doing the same thing I'm going to do the same thing with mine. We can't. Why? We cannot join a group, and we cannot leave the table. So. The hostages cannot join a group. Not this turn. Ah. So we basically have to stay like just shy of the group. So the, group, the group has to the group join has us. to join us. Okay. And I believe that that's it. That there's no more movement for us at all. That makes sense. We're back to the normal independent company. Yes. Our character role. Yes. That makes sense. That also means that the neutrality rule is gone because neither of us have hostages right now. You're right. You're right. So it's free fire. Into the holy area. Do we still get the points for that? We got the points for having them at the first. VP per hostage present in one of your groups when an event token. Well, yes. we had it when it was drawn. Yes, and we're even, so what so, the heck? Yeah, Why not? It doesn't really matter. Exactly. I don't want, I don't want to play any of my cards. I'll play wow. this one. Play that one. You go first. All right. Shoot. Well, now I can go in. 
think that's a no-brainer. Yeah, I well, yeah, to, I think you got to do that. I almost didn't do that because I was thinking about attacking you, and then I realized, no, I've got to get her. got to get her. Because she's the goal. Yep. We saved our hostage. Or, well, she's mm -hmm. on the table. She's not saved yet. Yep. I'm going to use my totem card, which gives me an extra short movement. Okay. And I'm going to charge okay. your unit. Okay. Since neutrality is gone. Yep. This is dangerous because your guys are better than me. Okay. And who are they? These are my young warriors. Ah, and mine are the old warriors. I think you're just called warriors. Warriors, yeah. yes. Okay. On the other hand, it might screw you up from being able to get your hostage yeah, back that's if true. I'm lucky. That's true. But I probably won't be. I'll probably take the worst part of this. I'm D8. I'm D8s as well. Hi. I only got two. One, two. Yeah, I only got two also. That's not good. So we're equal. Yeah, which ain't great. Okay. Equality, the defender retreats and both groups take a stress. So at least nobody's dead. Okay, so um, I retreat. So you stay, no, I retreat. Oh, you're right. You're I'm the, the you're defender. The defender. You retreat. You have to retreat directly away from me, which means okay. you can't go to her. I can go this way. Yes. No, this way. That's directly. You're this way. Well, I would argue the first way you were was was more the this? way I am, but but I don't think it, no, this way. It's it's my, okay. it doesn't, it's not a huge deal. I'm going to walk right back into these folks, but oh well. I got to go somewhere, not knocking them off. Uh, the worst thing is we both get stressed. Yes. And I took a combat, which is not the greatest thing to get right So now. I took a hand. Oh, that's awful. Great. The only action that unit can take now is a rally. But if they don't rally that, it comes off automatically at the end of the turn. Okay. Not the end of the phases, the end of the whole turn. Okay. But it, it does stop you from doing anything but a rally. So which, sadly, I me, can't walk up there and get me, her. For me, that's very good. It is very good. Okay. Uh, I could possibly get your hostage. I know. Uh, but I moved, I did both of mine. Yes. So, and it's your moves. So yeah, you could have just come right back up and got her right now. I know. You still could. You just can't get it with them. But no, you, you I can could get it with someone else. You could move them in there and try I to get it. I could, but God, I really... I think I think they could even get to her. But I really want to kill your guys. These guys. I love that extra movement. These guys are going to get her. They're going to sweep her up. Yeah, that's your better move. Yeah, they have a fight, but that shouldn't affect because their... Because if I have a move on this card, I'd have her. Right. My uh, cannibals mm -hmm. are going to head into the fray. I don't think you can get there. Maybe you actually can get to them. I'd go with the guy that's closest. But I don't think I'm allowed to because this is a defensive only move. Oh, you're right. You can't close with them anyway. I can't and close. And you couldn't. You are out of range. So I should just go one. But I'm sure it's heck not charging you. No, I think that'd be a very bad move right now. No. With these guys. Particularly with the cannibals. Yeah. Particularly now that you're getting closer to my other units. So here we are at the beginning of turn three. The first thing we do is we take our totem cards, or in most cases, totem card. Oh, totem card. And our three random initiatives. I have yet to do the keep what you've got. I'm going to do the same thing, dispose and take a third this time. Four. Oh, I get to go first. Indeed. Did not expect that. I've got three shootses. So I guess it's a no-brainer to load those guys. And then I will shoot them at Gorilla Face are only D6s, and there's only four of them left. I only need twos, <laughs> but I get none. By two, I meant two successes, not two number oh. twos. Okay, that's my second shot, and my third shot, my unmarried warriors are going to shoot at the gorilla too, because he's going to attack them if I don't. It's not. Not what I wanted to do, but I don't think I have a choice. No, the gorilla's really helping me tremendously. That takes them out two hits. Yep. So this goes back into the bag. I get a plunder token if I decide to keep it. 
So that counts as me having loot, but because it's bulky loot, as long as I have it, they can't double the pace. That was my whole action. Okay, my turn. Uh, first, the pygmy group over here. So you have to roll four dice or whatever their bravery type is. Right, I got one. Next, I'm going to try to take this one off of them. All right. Uh, so that is five. Yes. Yes. Okay. And now this is not a defense only. So my, for my last one, I'm going to actually send one towards you, towards this group. Okay. Okay. So that's only one attack because I don't right. have a terror on them. Right. I only get one save for it though, because I don't have anybody else with me. And you I got it. it. All right. Mm -hmm. Ouch. So you go first. Okay. So I am going to uh, try to take another one off of them. Uh, one. I am going to shoot at you guys. All right. Huh? Four. Or am I have my? You have your four in your chief because that's yeah. She's the uh, she's our your, princess. Your hostage. She's our princess. Yes. Four and they are the young warriors, mm -hmm. right? Shoot at D six. And the mm -hmm. chief. The chief also shoots at D6 also. Mm -hmm. Okay. One. I'm going to go ahead and go to ground. Okay. We're going to do the one. My young warrior. Oh, it doesn't matter what their status is because this is just a cover and we're in the open. Mm -hmm. uh, I made it. Okay. My turn. We're shooting back. We're probably D6s as well. We are. So this is my uh, my young warriors into your young warriors. Wow. I've got three hits. Yeah. So you have to roll three saves <sighs> and D6s. So might as well use the ones that are there. Oh, wow. One save. So you take those two figures. Yeah, and I have to roll to see if it's the chief. Yes, you do. All right. It's no, not. it's not. Wow. And then I'm going to charge. This is 3D10s. Two hits. So I have two hits, you have to roll your combat. Their combat is actually D8. It's two men, now. one chief. Yeah. And the chief's combat is actually only a D6, so. so makes two D8s a and one D6. Yep. Two. So we're equal. Uh, so you retreat. Okay. And we both draw a stress token. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we got a combat, which is not the one I wanted. Oh, I have to grab from here, don't I? Oh, yeah, combat. Oh, that's right. I have a seven. Six. You so go. I will go first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to get rid of that combat symbol off of them. Mm -hmm. My fanatic warriors have a bravery of D10. Wow. It is gone. And then I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot the pygmies. Hmm. I get two hits. The saved, Item. both of them. Yep. All right. So that's that turn done. So we go to turn four. We're like running out of game. And so we take a totem. Okay, you go first. Uh, I am going to roll to take one of these off. There's two. Oh, two. One came off. I'm going to shoot. Pygmies are super annoyed. They're gonna shoot these guys. Their shooting is D8. There's three of them. Come on, show what you're made of. Yes, all three. Three hits. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take uh, two of these. 
That sucks. All right, so let's see what happens. That sucks too. So what'd you do, two hits? Three. Three hits? All three. Because they shoot D8. I'm gonna drop that plunder. That's a move. One, two, three, four, I have five. Uh, young Warriors. Uh, I only get one hit. Uh, I'm only a D6. Okay. I get one. All right, so we're equal. Okay. So you retreat and we both get a stress token. I'm going to try to roll for the morale on these guys. Uh, their bravery is only a d6. And they get it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It's not what I wanted to play. Who expected to go first? All right. Huh. Here, we're coming to get you. I go two, and all I need to do is go around her. Two, obviously, we just surround her. Yes, you don't have to surround her. Okay, just be in base contact. Yeah. Okay, plus another move. That's make an it longer. additional. Well, that's one extra one of those. Right. Mm -hmm. That you can do. That's that, and I also had a shoot. My pygmies are back to being annoyed, and they lose one, so they only have two. Yep. The eight. And they made it on both of them. Okay, this is risky, but I'm gonna take another one of these. Get a movement. That's gonna give me three dice. And I don't save any. That probably took away any possibility I have of pulling this off. Wait, you didn't do your three influences. Oh, you're right. You, it's your turn, so. All right, I'm going to uh, do an influence on that group there. Mm -hmm. So they have, uh, they have to roll a bravery. Nope. So now they take a stress. Yeah, they have not been nearly as brave as the other band of pygmies. Now you have a terror one. Now I've so this it. time when I do it, do it to you for my second, you have to do two dice. Okay. Because one's for the attack and one's for that terror. Right. So roll two dice. Well, got one. So lost one. Right. So you have to pull another one. Uh, another one. All right. Now you have to do it for the third attack. <laughs> you have to do three. three. Great. Hi. Uh, got one more. Cause save but two. But you had to make three. Right, save so, two. So you, you cannot take a fifth You're right. marker. So, so they gone? retreat by okay. uh, a short. Okay. I'm gonna play my movement card. Gives me two can't hurt people movements. Hmm. Wow, I am now facing serious firepower. Um, did these guys do anything? No, they did not. Oh, of course they didn't, it's only one. Right. right. So you, you go first. I'm gonna start by moving these folks. Okay, that's that. 
influence. So I think I'm going to roll to try to take uh, something off of them. Right, so you get four dice. Right. Oh no, the braveries are d8, right? Uh, one. Let's take off the shoot because they, that's obviously their strong point. So the first thing I'm going to do, shoot with them at them. Mm -hmm. Those are my archers. Crazy silly. I get one hit. They're in the open. I'm going to play this card. Another die. There it goes there. It's a d10. Oh, wow. Nope. Okay. Lousy roll. So I defend with a d6. And I win. All right. Um, one ordeal down. So I was afraid of. So I'll go ahead and shoot at them. I only get one die, though. Those are my young warriors. They're a d6. Nothing. Yeah, I got... This assumes these are groups are constantly moving, though, mm. amongst themselves. Uh, Three hits. Wow. That's not good. One. I only save one. So you lose two guys and you take a shot. And that makes sense, actually, given the loss of two guys. Okay, that's my three. So that's me done. That's turn four done. That's turn four. Another uh, totem card. Three. Let's see. Do I want to turn one back? Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn one back in and try for another one. Seven. Two. So I go first. Yep. I'm going to play remove one stress and get rid of the shoot off him. I'm going to shoot with them at them. Do that. Okay. Because that gives two more dice. Okay. It's only two hits. That's not that. That's both of my guys. Only if you fail. Yeah, well, one. So you lose a guy. I have to do a rally on somebody. Yes. I'm going to try to rally them, which means I may have wasted that card. I was going to do a rally on them anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, that's me done. Okay. I'm going to start by running warrior with the hostage, and I'm going to use an extra mm -hmm. move. So that should get me three little yep. ones. Okay. All right, that's one of my actions. And then I can shoot with someone. Actually, I'm gonna pull this off. Gonna move these guys first. They normally would only get one move, mm -hmm. but because of that card, I'm gonna add that. These are my Ruga Rugas. Yep. Looking at trying to cut you off. Yep. That's the first one. The ex the other one. So we're gonna start with my pygmies back here. Uh, 2d8, shoot. Got one. No, you didn't. You saved him. I'm going to shoot with them. They have one stress, so I can only shoot with two. So this is the pygmies here yes. shooting at the uh, warriors. Uh, none. I'm going to use a totem card. I'm going to use a totem card. Close, 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 close. I know. You'll, you'll probably one, get it next well, turn. All right, one and two is these guys are going to start. You could get off this turn. All right. I'm going to try going through the woods again, which, I mean, the jungle, which... To reload, that's going to be their shoot. They're, They're going to shoot at you. These sixes. And they get one hit. Nope. One pygmy gone. So they're off the board now? Yes, they're off the board. That's one. We're going to take a chance again and go through the jungle. I think you need to. But now I have to roll for 
So what what die do I roll? Roll a d10 first. That'd be good. Nine. And then another d10. That's not good, by the way. Great. And a ten. One. Zero. Your men are hopelessly okay. lost in the tangled jungle. Great. Put this group in the nearest unoccupied area terrain without rolling on the dangerous terrain table. You choose where your models are placed in this area. If no terrain area meets these criteria, the group must draw two stress. You have to move here, and you don't take the two stress. Well, that's still better for you than that would be anyway. Yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not as good as where you were at. Okay. I wanted to see how close I could get to you. Oh, I can only move one because I have the foot. These guys are going to move. So that they are within shooting range of you. Shooting range. Okay. It'll turn All right. six. All right. All right. I'm going to do a move with these guys. Uh, and then I'm going to do a terror attack on those two pygmies, so they have to roll two bravery. Uh, so one is off, but I take one. Uh, no, they can't. Yes, they can. They're long distance. They're guns. Okay. My Vendukis are shooting. They're D6. They got one. All right. I'm going to play a uh, plus one card. Okay. Give me an extra die, but didn't work. Okay. You take another stress, right? For getting shot. Oh, yeah, because it's a musket. And I... I have fired, and I have one move. <coughs> well, I am not going where you think I'm going, because I see no reason to face you guys. None whatsoever. So you go first. Yeah, honestly, there aren't even that many people I want to shoot. Yeah, you can reload that. Yeah, I know. That's Which one, obviously. And that's people. what I was going to do. But uh, I guess uh, the pygmies will will shoot. Two heads. Uh, they got two. Do I want to take it? Do I want to risk a terror on them? I'm going to go on the ground? I think I'm going to need to. This, this is risky. I still took one. The obvious one is these guys, so it's just one, are going to shoot. No. So that's the end of my, my action. Can I? I would have had to have done the extra action when I did, I assume. Well, you could do it my. on this, this action phase. We're gonna, Can I? We're gonna, we have still one action phase left. You're right. But you go first. I do. And I'm going to. So uh, they're going to shoot. They're not great at that. But I couldn't get my Ruger Rugas over there. What I really wanted. Nothing. They can shoot. They They're not great them. either. Yeah. There's still four of them. God, I'm rolling horribly. Thank God. I think that's on them. So that's all I got. I only have three units out there. Three influences. What do I want to do? I want to put 
two. So you can take two off, and they're your choice. Okay. I mean, one's a no-brainer. you got to take a foot off. Right. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's one. I am now going to put... This is with them. I am now going to put a, a terror on that. Because I have a terror mask there, so they have to roll two bravery. Uh, this, because it is a terror attack, is on their lower dice roll. Mm -hmm. It's a d6 instead of a d8. And they made them both. And then I want to do a terror attack on you guys. That's going to be two as well. And they're probably d6s, yeah. And I get one. I'm rolling well on those. I'm rolling miserable on my shoots. And I got a shoot, which is not great. That's and it. I want to do an extra action. All right. And it's going to be a move. We're going to try this jungle again. So I'm going to go to the near other side. Okay, what you might as well do first mm -hmm. is roll a d8. Because if you roll a success, the game is over. And it won't matter what cards are in your hand. <laughs> At the beginning of every action phase this turn, we have to roll to see if we even do that action phase. Oh. And success, the game's over. That was the hostage exchange at the Mabali. The end result of the scores, the Babongo, played by Kerry and represented by the Jungle Tribes, they got four victory points for holding the hostages at each of the two events. They have two victory points for eliminating my negotiating group and five for having escorted the hostage, their hostage, uh, off of the table. So for a total of 11 victory points. The Balumba, represented by the African kingdoms and played by myself, only have the four victory points for having held the hostage at the two first two events. So it is a victory for Kerry and for the jungle tribes. I'm glad to finally get my jungle tribes onto the board and my jungle train up, which has been holding up some of my Congo game. Part of why I haven't covered Congo in a long time was waiting to get the rest of my forest tribes finished. This is a great game. I really enjoy this game. Uh, I love the balance of tactics to luck and how it's constantly changing and the different choices you get to make using the totem cards and the activation cards, deciding when you want to do what you want, when you want to play what card you want. I love the way they f make the scenarios feel com completely different from each other with the special scenario events. For instance, in this one, because of confusion, we didn't get to pick our activation cards. We had to randomly choose them out of the deck, putting even more limits on our decision making and helping to show that friction that can happen in, in combat. So the game is a lot of fun for that. It's a little gamey at times. It has a lot of gamey mechanics. The, the fact that you can't curve with your sticks. The fact that everybody has to be in or out of terrain. They can't be partly in, partly out. The, a whole lot of this was actually resolved to make the game less uh, ambiguous. And in that part, I think it's actually very, very clever. It uh, reduces a lot of the arguing because the rule makes it very clear what is or what isn't. It may not be realistic necessarily, but it reduces the arguments and makes the game all the more enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed that battle report as much as we enjoyed playing it. If you have any questions about the game or you have Congo yourself and would like to make your own comments about that, go ahead and put those in the comments. Also, we look at the comment section for any ideas for further content you would like to see us produce here on Cry Havoc Wargaming. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll hit like. And if you'd like to receive further notifications for videos like this one that may help you decide how to better spend your money or time in your wargaming hobby, please hit subscribe and ring our notification bell. Till next time, cheers.